I am Elizabeth Ingero, the producer of Let's Cook Reality TV show. I will be taking you through the series so far. Group three. Group three consisted of Sharif Mabingo. Sharif Mabingo. Edith Quagala. Edith Quagala. And Sharon Amoyne. Sharon Amoyne. Once again, we heard a little bit about their lives. I'm a lawyer by profession. I do evangelism. I come from Lira. How did they get on in the omelette round? None of the contestants in group three managed to cook their omelette in time. They've now been given an extra minute to get their food on the plate. Time ran out for this group. What were they thinking? This is a competition. You have to bring your A game. And what did the judges think of their omelettes? I just feel I've got you uh, I put a bit of uh, busy go. <laughs> Judge Michael, busy go? Edith's buttered omelette seemed to go down well. You look at it, you feel it appetizing. Judge Priscilla seems to know what she's talking about in guessing why Sharon's egg looked more like scrambled egg than an omelette. What happened is when she cooked it, it fell apart when yeah, you tried to flip it. Yeah, so ah. perfect omelette should not fall apart when you flip it. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. <laughs> How did this group get on with their main dish? All of their fish looked tasty and delicious, so moist and juicy. Whew. Breathe out. Group three were able to keep time for their main dish, but Edith did cut it close to the end. Six, five, four, three. Edith Quagala decided that there wasn't enough heat in the kitchen. Yes, you saw that right. She set fire to the dishcloth. Seems like everything in this group decided to go wrong. Where is the egg? I can't see the egg. What was his excuse? The egg hatched. The, the egg hatched. <laughs> the egg hatched? Well, you should have made us chicken then. Judge Robert gave Edith Quagala, I think, one of the best compliments. You reminded me of one of those best meals I've tasted at all. And you know, when I tasted it, I'm like, wow, is this my wife Jamina preparing this? I realized. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no. <laughs> Let's see who left us. The meal that needed more imagination belongs to uh, Sharon. We say goodbye to Sharon Amoyne. She shared her life. Yeah, I have been through painful experiences in life. Sometimes when there's a problem or a fire, first put out the fire before you run away. Because if you think you run away from this one and you go and find good life somewhere, this very one will chase after you and find you somewhere. She's encouraged people out there, but this was the end for her on Let's Cook. So Edith Quagala and Sharif Mabingo still have a chance to be crowned the champion of Let's Cook. So what's going to happen next? We now have the semi-finals. We have six contestants remaining. They will be split into two groups of three and each group will lose two contestants. So this is major. The first group, which includes Pablo Semper, Paul Wanyala and Hakim Buanica. I must tell you, there's still tension between Pablo and Paul Wanyala. So let's see how they get on being in the same group. I hope they play nice. At the end of each show, we will lose two contestants. Yes, you heard me right, two contestants, which will leave us with one person who will be able to go through to the finals and be in with the chance of being crowned the Let's Cook champion. So who will it be? And what will they have to cook? There will be some surprises. But what will the surprise be? Come and find out this Saturday at 7pm on Record TV. Subscribe to a producer's life in Uganda.